All right, we're going to prove um, this equation or these. So I'm going to start with the left. Uh, first thing I do is get a common denominator, and it's actually going to be 1 minus sine theta times 1 plus sine theta. So I get, so I end up getting 1 plus sine theta squared minus 1 minus sine theta squared L over um, 1 minus sine squared. Actually, it's just this. Difference, difference of squares, so it works out pretty nice. It ends up being 1 minus sine squared theta. Um, so I get 1 plus 2 sine theta, oops, plus sine squared theta minus 1 plus, I gotta be careful here, I'm skipping steps in my head, um, 2 sine theta and then plus plus so it becomes minus sine squared theta. So sines cancel off, the ones cancel off, and we're left with four over sine theta. And this right here is a trig property. It's also equal to cosine squared theta. So it becomes cosine squared theta. And you can actually convert this into four sine theta and then over cosine theta. And I can separate the cosine to one over cosine. And this is the same thing as saying the secant theta, and this is the tangent theta. So it becomes four times tangent theta times secant theta. And that's it. That's how you solve this. I hope that helps you out. Thanks for watching.